Cohen. I'm the author of Your Body Song, 18 Minutes to Health, Happiness and Longevity. And thank you for joining me for Coffee with Carrie as we go through this book. Now, remember last time I read you one of the most important things. I just want to recap on that. That how do you know when your cells are producing good proteins? When you're happy, when you're content because all your biochemistry then comes into coherence and produces just the fabulous mix that you need for health and longevity. So today I'm going to continue reading from chapter one. And this is on page 15 for those of you that have your own books and are following along. So personally, I think of health as a piece of music being composed. Each and every emotion we experience creates trillions of health or disease notes in our body song. And these either contribute to our body's health and harmony or to its deterioration and disease. If we were to chart this visually, let's say high frequency positive health notes are bright, cheerful colors. For example, pink notes for love, red for joy, blue for happiness, yellow for kindness, and so on. Whereas low frequency disease notes would be shades of gray or black. You might have black for shame, dark gray for hatred, medium gray for fear. So now we know that our body is producing notes every nanosecond, which in turn mandate our brain waves, how our heart beats, and how our gut biome functions. So you meet up with a friend you love. You hug and chatter. And all the while your body is producing health enhancing notes and creating a beautiful, colorful, harmonious passage of music. Then you tell your friend about your latest drama, reliving all the pain and recreating the biology from that time. Your body is now producing dark, health eroding notes. But soon you're on to planning something exciting. Your body returns to playing healthy notes. From this simple example, you can see that each of us has a unique body song. No two people will create the same health notes at exactly the same time and in the same quantity. Therefore, everyone's musical score sheet is original. Listen up, important information. We are never not creating health or disease notes. Imagine over your lifetime that you're able to see the musical score sheet of the body song you've been writing. What might it look like? Would you get an overall sense of whether you've been creating a disease song or a health and longevity song? If it were printed out on a giant poster on your wall, would certain periods of your life deliver a chorus of either health notes or disease notes? Now that the years have passed, what would this composition look like today? You see, I think that if you could see this poster with all of these health and disease notes side by side, you'd be able to see the flux and flow of life as it shows up in your biochemistry and as it creates those health and disease notes. And if you took some time and actually took some crayons and kind of divided your life into decades and just sort of scribbled the colors that you think would dominate each decade, what do you think your overall song sheet, your body song sheet might look like? And I challenge you to do that, to almost have like a poster where from year one to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, you do this little exercise and get an idea of what your body song sheet might look like. I think you might find some areas that have deep dark notes, but many areas that have beautiful colorful notes. And then ask yourself, what do I want to put into the next decade? And how do I go about doing that? Because that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in my book. Thanks for joining me. Click on the link below if you want to order the book. Or don't forget to 
ask me some questions or make some comments in the comments below. Thanks for joining me.